Hi everyone, it's Maddie. Welcome back to my channel. Today, if you can't guess, I'm doing a giant Stony Clover Disney unboxing. I have both of my orders here. I placed a non-customized order and a customized order and they both came super fast. So I'm really excited to unbox these with you. I haven't looked at them yet. I've just cut, well actually this label I cut. This one I'm gonna very carefully peel off and maybe try and save because I'm like that sometimes. Okay, let's get into it. Let me try not to knock over the tripod, if you recall that. This is from the Stony Clover Disney Collection. I don't know if I've talked about it here, but I, have over the past year, started kind of getting more into going to Disney and parks and stuff like that, which has been really fun. And I'm definitely into Stony Clover, so there's that too. Okay, let's do this. First, there's the cute little Mickey and Friends folio. So cute. I got a Donald sticker and a goofy postcard. I'm gonna just gently throw these on the ground. <laughs> okay, and here is the bag of stuff. Holy cow, giant box. The coordination of it all. All right, you go over there. Okay, okay, get situated. Pull this out nice and loud. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, the first item was the first thing to sell out of this collection. It was kind of crazy. It is this clear round top. It's really big. And what this is for, you guys are gonna laugh if you're not into Disney, but if you're into Disney, you're gonna love it because this is for storing Mickey ears. I mean, it could be for storing anything, but it's big enough to store Mickey ears. And so there's these. This is Disney print and it's a clear top with lots of bubble paper inside that I got caught in the zipper. The sound on this video, I swear. Oh my gosh, so cute. So big, so unique, so good for travel. I'm a sucker for like an organized travel situation. And I know when I'm going to Disney, there's always a lot of accessories involved. So maybe I'll just leave this open over here and put everything in it as we go along. Okay. Next up is an item that I actually wish I had taken the time to customize. The hard thing with these launches is you just never know what's going to sell out and what's going to stay in stock. And so you kind of have to guess how everything's going to go. This is the small pouch with a clear front in the bow print. So much stuff. If I could receive it without the stuffing, that's what I would like to do. But there's an option to do it without the cute wrapping. I like the cute wrapping. I just don't need the industrial stuffing. So this is a clear pouch. This is so good. I like to do skincare in these. Like if you do the drunk elephant stuff, it just looks really cute in there. And it's a good way to see everything that's in your pouch and on theme for a Disney trip. Okay, cute. Next item, so sweet. I got the mini bow bag. I was debating between this one and the Dylan shape. The Dylan shape is more of a 90 shape. Um, but when I was watching my friend Zoe's live, she convinced me that the bow is like just a really cute accent. So this doesn't really go up on the shoulder, at least not from my shoulder, I have bigger arms. This is more of like a hand carry or the crook of the arm, but in the crook of the arm, the bow, is so cute. I wish I had dressed to match this. And they have added the new kind of metal plate here. And there's a faux leather zipper pull. This one's also stuffed to the gills in tissue paper. Oh my goodness. Today is actually recycling day at our house, so good thing. You know what, I'll leave the silica in there until I use it. So cute, just for like a little park situation. You know, it's always kind of like hot and sweaty and there's food and whatever. And so it's not always the time to bust out your Chanel, but this is so cute for like a little Disney moment. I know it's cheesy, but I love, I love it, okay? All right, and then the next two items, um, this one was a freebie that you got for spending a certain amount of money. It's a patch that you can sew onto any of the pouches. And then this one is the scrunchie that matches this bow bag. So maybe I'll put it in there for storage. Put both of them in there. Cute, cute, 
cute, cute. I actually really love this. This is really well done. Especially if you have like a little girl or something like, this is so cute. They have to do this in more colors. I, they can't not, it's, it's too good. Okay, I'm just gonna keep these in my lap for a second. I was balancing them on this other box, which I will now open. Okay, so there's another folio in here, of course. And I got another Pluto card, but this time I got the Daisy sticker. So that's kind of cute. I have Daisy and Donald. Don't ask me what I do with these stickers because I just put them in a sticker book and save them. It'd be like that sometimes. Okay. Let's try and be organized somewhat and not break a nail. things around. Bag number two. You can kind of see what it is. Okay, the first item, oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's this, the bow, here let me zip it. The bow print fanny pack and I got my initials on it with a little bow in the middle. So cute. This is the most functional thing to wear out and about at the parks. I went to Disneyland. Well, I went to Disneyland once last year, but we went to Magic Kingdom twice. So I don't even know how I'm justifying these purchases, but here we are. It's like, it's always a fashion moment. That's what makes it fun. So cute. So cute. Okay. And then the other item another free patch. The other item is this little train case and I got my initials on it. Where does everything go? So cute. So it has the faux leather handle too. And it's the plastic off. You know, the one thing, because this handle's sewn down here, it can't go flat like, like the Louis Vuitton ones. And I know it's like very rude to compare this pouch to a Louis Vuitton pouch, but here I am doing it. The Louis Vuitton ones, it kind of like slides through and flattens. This one stays up. So, I mean, I guess it's like the Chanel ones in that way. I'm pretty sure the Chanel vanity cases stay up the same way. And on the inside, it's more of that red print. I like this. I prefer this air paper to the other paper. Although I don't know. This seems like it might be the decomposing plastic. I was gonna say, I don't know if the environmental impact is as good, but. Okay, so the inside is all this. So then for my little weekend travel situation, you can imagine I have all of my glam in here and then my skincare. Oops, don't fall over. In here, so cute. Oh my gosh. All right, well, I'm really, really happy with the things that I picked out in this collection. I know that this video is a little bit different to what you might normally see on here, but I think people have enjoyed my other Stony Clover videos. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you wanna see more Stony Clover and other types of unboxing videos, and I will try and do that for you. Otherwise, I will talk to you guys all later. All right, bye.